it's time once again for the continuing adventures of Tim Vortex, the last Space Master. Very soon, episode one, after receiving word of an imminent alien attack, Tim lands on the roof of the United Nations building. Yeah, probably. Excuse me? Yes? Oh, hello. Uh, is this your spaceship? Ooh, yes, impressive, isn't it? Um, it's definitely different. Look, do you think you could move it? It's just that it's parked on my vegetable garden. So, this isn't the roof of the United Nations building? No. <sighs> the zucchinis are ruined. Sorry. Listen, I'd like to stick around and help, but aliens are about to attack the UN, and it's my job to defend it. Really? Yes, I'm Tim Vortex, last of the Space Masters. I travel through time and space, defending Earth from alien attack. Hi, Tim. I'm Mary Sue. So, this defending of Earth, full-time job, is it? Oh, yes. It seems like there's another attack just about every week. Really? Well, there have been some long stretches where nothing at all happens. But then it picks right back up again. Huh. And a Space Master is? The Space Masters were an ancient civilization from a distant planet. I am, sadly, the last my guy. You're an alien. Yes. But you look human. Total coincidence. And you speak perfect English? Ah, uh, well, you see, the ship translates any language into any other language, and you only hear English. Does it also project perfectly synchronized lip movements onto your mouth? Yes. Probably. Say, how would you like to come along with me? I could use a new companion. I don't know. What would I have to do? All the usual. Ask expository questions. Stumble into perilous situations. Get rescued from certain death. Most of the time. And, um, uh, generally stand around looking attractive. That doesn't sound very fulfilling, career-wise. You also get to travel to distant and exciting planets. Oh. But most of them look like abandoned rock quarries. Oh. Still, Distant Planet sounds pretty amazing. I'm in! Well, how do you feel about miniskirts? Miniskirts? Or tight sweaters? Listen, I'm not so sure about this. How old are you? 945. Listen, you old pervert, I'm not dressing up for you. Oh, it's not for me. It's for the viewers. Viewers? You're not helping yourself here, bub. My adventures are recorded for posterity, and apparently they prefer my companions to be attractive, or witty and snarky, or robotic. Are you witty and snarky? I can be. Well, in that case, you can forget about the wardrobe. I mean, those requirements are pretty nebulous anyway. So. In or out? Sure, why not? Wonderful! All right, prepare for takeoff. Buckle up! B -b Buckle up? Buckle up? What? <laughs> what new adventure awaits Tim and Mary Sue? Will they battle aliens, visit strange new worlds, or will Mary Sue turn Tim into the NTSB for operating an unsafe aircraft? All these questions and more will be answered on the next episode of Tim Vortex, The Last Space Master.